According to three sources familiar with the intelligence, Russia is trying to develop a nuclear space weapon that would use effectively the byproduct of a nuclear explosion to try to disable and destroy satellites in space. The idea here, according to the sources, is not to use the explosion itself, which is how we traditionally think of a nuclear weapon or a nuke. Instead, the explosion produces an electromagnetic pulse, an incredibly powerful wave of energy that essentially fries the insides of satellites and renders them ineffective. Now, crucially, this is not a system that's operational yet. It's still in development. The White House and the Biden administration said that earlier this week, and President Joe Biden himself said on Friday that there is no threat or any sort of nuclear threat to the United States at this time. But this is clearly something the U.S. is watching, and here's why. Critical satellites for the U.S., including many military satellites, are built to defend against these sort of electromagnetic pulse waves and be able to withstand these waves. But an explosion like this in space would affect a lot of commercial satellites and disrupt not only U.S. satellites, but Russian satellites, Chinese, and so many others. And those satellites are used for a number of different reasons, including communications, cell phone services, internet, and so much more. It would effectively disrupt or could disrupt all of that if it were used, not to mention it would be a violation of the Outer Space Treaty of the late 60s, which prohibits the use of nuclear weapons in space. And that's why the administration is watching this so carefully, because of the threat and the risks such an explosion would have. Russia would only likely use it, the officials say, or the sources say, as a last-ditch effort, because it's indiscriminate. It doesn't just affect U.S. satellites, it affects any satellite that's near it, and could potentially render a large number of satellites ineffective. Still, it is a capability that the U.S. is watching very closely as Russia presses forward with this program. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, at the Pentagon.